Hey guys, Alec here with a tutorial again. Here with one by popular demand. Uh, this is going to be how to set up your OBS with Clone Hero. Yes, yes, uh, the tutorial's finally here. I'm finally doing it. I've been uh, being bombarded with questions in streams and in YouTube comments about how to get started with streaming. And I figured I'm going to help you guys today. So, the, the things that you're going to need right here is Clone Hero and OBS Studio. First, we're going to get started with uh, Clone Hero. Uh, the first and foremost thing is getting it to run in borderless windowed. The game is not borderless windowed by default, neither is full screen. Full screen is not borderless windowed. Um, the reason why this is comes later um, for having chat set up on screen. So you're going to go to where you, where you have Clone Hero installed. So you have your Clone Hero version whatever folder. doesn't matter. It works for pretty much every version, every version in, in recent time. You're going to highlight this hold right click and drag onto your desktop and create shortcuts here um, I've already done it so I don't have to do it so when you have your shortcut right here you're gonna right click on it and go to properties um, pay attention to this target window okay so what you're going to be doing right here um, is pasting uh, this text at the very end of this target um, you can, if you play on a 900p monitor or a 1440p monitor or a 2160, if you're on a uh, 4K monitor, adjust these, adjust these uh, dimensions accordingly. I play on a 1080p LCD TV, so it's fine. So just go ahead and add a space and then paste it in, and then you hit apply. And once you hit OK. Then uh, the next time you run Clone Hero, I'll show you right now that it's going to be borderless windowed. And um, just make sure that the windowed box is checked and the screen resolution does, doesn't matter. I just put it on the highest one. And then it runs borderless windowed. So yes, that's how you get it borderless windowed. Um, this will come in handy later when I show you guys how to put the chat on top of the screen. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of Clone Hero for right now. And one thing that we're going to get started on is... Oh shit, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened. Okay, don't worry about that. Uh, one thing that we're going to uh, focus on right now primarily is OBS Studio. You need OBS Studio. I very highly, highly recommend OBS Studio um, for this tutorial. I use this to stream. Jason uses this to stream. Randy uses this to stream. Uh, George uses this to stream. Shadowfax, Stevie P, everybody. All, all the every single Guitar Hero streamer that I know of that I have um, that I have spoken to uses OBS Studio. I really highly do not recommend using regular open broadcaster software. Um, it is not supported by the due to develop it anymore. Um, but yeah, I have one open just so I can. Uh, I have the original one open so I can record uh, just a tutorial for this. Um, so uh, when you first open up OBS, it's going to be like this. Uh, it, you're just going to have something called scene and a uh, sources box. So we're going to go ahead, uh, assuming that this is your first time ever doing it, or you're going to do it for as a secondary game if you stream something else, go ahead and uh, go ahead and name a scene, just call it Clone Hero. Okay. Um, so this is going to be our main scene that we are going to be using. So the magic comes in so if you want uh, a cutout, if you want to have like a, like the the, the highway on the screen and the score on the screen and on top of your webcam, you know, like a sort of a split screen uh, sort of layout, then uh, I you are going to be using scenes. Um, so cr w don't be alarmed when you're creating like 5, 10, 10 to 20 scenes, okay? It's, it's all fine. Um, so the first thing we're going to do here is add a scene. Let's call it CH board, okay? That will be for our... Um, our highway cutout. This will all make sense in a moment. So just bear with me, follow along with me, pause if you need to. Um, I'm, I will try and keep this as steady as possible for a tutorial. I'm gonna create another scene, call it CH score. Create another scene, call it CH solo for the solo cutout. So here are three main gameplay uh, boards right here. So for this one right here, we're going to go add a window capture. Now, we're going to go open up Clone Hero right now. Alright, so we keep the game open right here, so we go tab back into OBS. Create new, we're just going to call this Clone Hero Game. Alright, and so here we are right here. This is our game, right there. 
Okay, so now that we have our game showing, you're going to right click on the scene. Not the source, we're right clicking on the scene. And uh, yes, and also uh, let me clarify, it must be window capture, not game capture. This will not work with game capture. It'll seem to work, but it just won't. It won't after when you start piecing everything together. It will not work for game capture. Um, so you must, 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 must use window capture. So uh, we're here in filters now. Um, so now we're going to stop here for a second, and I'm going to open up a Chrome page for Clone Hero cutouts. This is the one of the most important things uh, and one of the most asked about things uh, for how to set up Clone Hero. Um, made by a good friend of mine, Poison Panther. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. He makes other tutorials for Clone Hero as well, including how to connect a Wii controller, a PlayStation 3 controller, and wireless Xbox 360 controllers. He does all of that. So go ahead and stop by his channel. Uh, leave a subscribe for me, for me, and do it for him as well. So uh, I'm going to leave a link to this drive down below, and the first thing you're going to see is single player double click on single player and then uh, double click on masks we're going to be using masks today for the cleanest looking setup as possible mm -hmm. now uh, this is uh, these folders right here this depends on whether you're going to be streaming clone hero live or uh, standard five fret clone hero uh, I'm just gonna be doing standard cl uh, clone hero right now because the process is the same so double click on the five fret folder and this is for either for preview mode if you're a charter and you just want to show off your uh, your chart. Uh, it doesn't have the little circle or the multiplier nubs uh, on the side of the fretboard. Um, this is the one for no fail, so it doesn't have the little uh, notch at the end for the rock meter. And this is the one without clone uh, or without the uh, no fail. So this is just standard. Um, I personally play with no fail on because. I don't know, I just I don't really care about it being on or off. That's not a thing on my channel. So we're gonna just go make a another folder here. We're just gonna call this Clone Hero OBS Masks. Uh, this isn't exclusive to me. It's like it's just you know something for you guys to follow. So we have the chart mask with no fail. And we are also gonna go back one page and go to the solo marker cutout, download this and score cutout download this as well and if you play on a 16 by 10 display then uh, this solo cutout one is for you this one won't work it'll look really off position and it'll look very odd so we're done here with the masks so now this brings us back to the filters on OBS so we're gonna right click in this big old empty white box and go to add and we're gonna go to image mask slash blend hit okay um, and then we go to path right here or we go to the path right here and we go to browse go to where our OBS masks are clone hero OBS masks and since this one this one that we named right here CH board is called CH board we're going to be putting in the mask right there okay so now this scene right here is just the mask being cut out now repeat the process with uh, each one of its each one of its uh, respective mask images so once again we're going to be going to window capture and this time since we've added it already go to clone hero game right click on the scene go to filters right click big white empty box image mask blend hit ok uh, look at the path browse go to score cutout double click it there we go there's our little score cutout with the star that's how you know that that's the score one more time um, in our solo scene going to be going to window capture, add existing, clone hero game, and right click on the scene, filters, add, image mask, browse, solo marker. So, now, what we do with these three things, you can probably guess already. So, that's why I saved adding the webcam on clone hero next. So, we're going to go to our main scene that we haven't added anything to yet. And we're going to add our video capture device, and since I have a, uh, a Logitech webcam, so I'm going to go uh, webcam for this one. Alright, there we go. Hi everybody. I'm going to set my resolution. If you guys have fancy webcams with uh, different resolutions, uh, there we go. There's my um, 720p setting. Uh, if you guys have like a 60fps webcam, then go ahead and set your... There you go. It should be, a, should be pretty crisp. 
Um, sorry for the mess on the bed. Uh, don't don't mind that. What's new? So we go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and uh, press Control F. Fit me on the entire screen right there. And here's where the magic comes in. Gonna right click and add, and we go to scene. Go to scene now, and we're gonna go in and and add the CH board. And boom! Look, it's on there. And if you guys want to know how uh, what it looks like in the game, so um, using the normal the uh, stock keyboard controls for Clone Hero menu navigation, which is up and down with the arrow keys and then A, S, J, K, and L. A being green, so navigate it. So after this, you're going to go to video settings. I believe it's video settings. No, fuck. It's uh, game modifiers. Here we go. Pause on focus loss. So you're going to disable this if it is enabled. So what you can do is hit enter go down into the bot and then uh, hit OK then you can go ahead and add a song or, or you know start a song right here uh, let's just go with I don't know we gotta go with something copyright free uh, where's victory solo X gotta go with something copyright free thank you schmutz shout out to smutch okay I might I, I uh, I'm probably gonna have to mute this game so hold on let me go to desktop We can mute the game. It's too fucking loud. Okay, so we hit OK. It's there, and you can see in game that the board is right here, uh, just like so. And uh, while we are previewing this, I can show you that all the score and the solo will come up as well. So we add the scene for score. There's our score right here. I like to keep it right there, or you know, right here, anywhere. You can uh, increase the size of it by dragging the red dots, just like that. Make it look nice. Right click, add one more scene for the solo. And if the uh, song has solo sections, then you can it, it'll show the percentage right here. That's what the solo section is for. Exclusive. This is obviously exclusive to Clone Hero, um, as far as these cutouts go. But yeah, this is how you get it all set up right here. Th that's how you get it, the game to show up and the score and all the other elements of the game right there. Um, I know there's a little black black end over there, uh, but that's reserved for the uh, multiplier counter and the multiplier itself. So yeah, that's generally how you get uh, OBS to recognize the game and that's how you get it to cut out and everything. I like using masks myself because it just looks cleaner. Now if you want to have a scene that shows you and the game only, uh, with no masks or anything fancy like that, so it's not stuck like this the entire time. Or that's why I always ramble about, uh, ramble on about, hey, I forgot to hit the fucking hotkey. This my stream looks like trash. Or, you know, I, I really beat myself down about that. But hey, um, that's that's just uh, that's just me. So we're gonna make another scene called Clone Hero Menu Nav, or short for Menu Navigation. So we can uh, click and switch the order of our scenes. Doesn't really matter. Um, here so oh yes one more thing make sure that these scenes are sitting above the webcam source or else it'll look like this if it's sitting below then you're not gonna see it uh, you, it has to be above the webcam for you to see it so yeah make sure your webcam is on the bottom and then you put everything else on top so as far so as far as menu navigation goes um, you're going to add a video capture device and you can add your webcam hello hello again and you can shrink it however you want you can crop it however you like if you hold down alt poison panther told me that so yeah if you hold down alt the alt key then it'll shrink it down um, and then you can move yourself into position shrink it down a bit okay and then you right click and add do window capture and we just go and head go ahead and add clone hero game oh we accidentally uh, hit ourselves so there we go uh, we have our menu navigation, so it's like, hey guys, we're done with the song, and then now we're back into Clone Hero. Now we're back into Clone Hero, you just want to see me and the full screen, and people will probably want to see your entire song list. Um, and as for the hotkeys, you go into here. What you can do is show your, you can set your menu navigation to something like, you, you go to switch scene, and I like to use the number pad keys because I don't really... I don't really use it for anything else. So what I like to use is uh, number pad minus to switch to the scene. 
or actually number pad plus to go to the scene uh, menu navigation and then the main clone hero one I got I like to use number pad minus so we go to apply hit OK and uh, say we go back into another song so it's like oh shit I forgot to add this I forgot to hit the hotkeys forgot to switch scenes uh, boom hit number pad minus and we're in and we're in and we're Gucci Gucci gang I'm um, probably gonna regret saying that but it's fine and then you just hit hit the uh, corresponding keys to go back to where it was obviously and uh, hopefully you you uh, gain a sort of muscle memory for that but yeah yeah essentially that's all it that's all it really is it's just hotkeys so lastly the last thing that I uh, I want to set up is the chat on the screen for you streamers out there so I use a program called chatty um, let me show you on screen this is I mean like there's no it's just a it's just a jar file it's literally just a jar um, program written in JavaScript and all you have to all you really have to do is just run it um, there's a little tutorial setup and uh, it it really it really 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 helps to have you just have your t and, and it comes built in uh, uh, so that it can sit on top of your screen and that's why I had it uh, play as borderless windowed in the first place so that it could be something like this I'll oh, see all, all, all my notifications are setting up right now I'm getting fucked up <laughs> shout out to all you guys but yeah this is essentially what your screen this is essentially what my screen looks like a uh, hundred percent of the time when I play clone hero but yeah um, the as for as for uh, Nightbot and Streamlabs and stuff, there are already tutorials for that all over YouTube. I follow those. I don't recommend any because they're all the same fucking thing. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys what I use and how to set up OBS Studio 100%. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Um, please go subscribe and uh, leave a like if you found this helpful. Thanks. I'll see you guys later.